have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. morning or good day everybody today we're in Houston Texas and we're gonna embark on an adventure with the Fronius crew we have our trusty Fronius stick TIG welder and we are at Ocean Corporation and we're gonna do some underwater welding stick around so this is pretty much the standard so this is what y'all are diving it's uh we have a pink one y'all are diving today. Pretty stout. Oh, yeah. And then... How much does that weigh? It's about 30 pounds. Yeah, it's, you're but when like you get in the water, yeah. it's basically neutral. Yeah. You're you can do it. flips up and down because you have air in it, yeah. and so it lifts. So before you get in, it's pretty stout. But once you're oh, in the water, yeah. yeah. When you get done with the dive, you go into a system like this, right? It's the reef. Acclimates your normal atmospheric pressure called the decompression schedule. Um, two of our instructors, John and Carlo, doing the maintenance on it. Um, typically several hours, depends on your depth. This is our deepest tank, this is 30 feet deep. It's essentially one section of an oil platform. Uh, we call it our super project. It's kind of the midway point, uh, but the students are responsible for the whole operation at this point, right? They got to plan the dive, they're running as dive supervisor all the way through down to the basic tender. And they're rotating through positions doing the whole project. What we do in the Gulf is going to be zero visibility, right? Whether it's muddy water coming out of the Mississippi, or they just stir up all the sand and sediment on the ocean floor. This tank, so I guess we're going to be in that one. Um, <clears throat> so we got a confined space cutting project. They got to climb inside that box and practice cutting it within a confined space. And then pipeline is the other major thing that people cut. And the real thing we're learning on the pipeline is how to cut it uh, so you can pin it properly, right? So you start at the top work your way down because you don't want gas building up, right? You got oxygen, you got hydrogen build up in the water, with sparks, that's not a good combination, it tends to detonate, so you do it have a proper event while you're cutting everything. It's essentially an elevator for divers, used for very deep water diving primarily. <clears throat> Again, typically it's going to be part of saturation diving, right? So the reason we use something like this is its pressure can be controlled independent of the external environment, right? So you got control board right here, it's functionally very similar to a decompression chamber, if this one's designed to move up and down with a hatch at the bottom so you can get out when you go to work. <clears throat> so typically divers will go inside, they'll pre-pressurize it to working depth, lower it down when it gets to depth, the pressure equalizes, you can open that hatch. What, what's the longest work. you've seen one of these? What's the longest you've like, seen one of these? The they go deepest? hundreds hundreds of feet? Oh, so the, the deepest decompression chambers dive on record is a little over like 1,100 feet, 1,200 feet. Dang. So it's like we try to not do too much because it's a lot of bad habits you're gonna have to break. So I say bad habits, it's the right habits when you're topside welder, they're bad habits when you're in the water, because it's just different, right? You can't run beads, right? You can't run a pattern. It's just straight beads, right? And the stick rods are wax covered or coated, yeah. just to keep the moisture out of the rod? Exactly, right? Mostly to keep the flux dry. Okay. What do they run like? What, what kind of it's rods? like a 6013. Oh, a 6013. Okay. See, I lied, I thought it was 7018. Liar. Uh Beach 34, a Fronius Trans Pocket, 2500, 250 amps, stick TIG, and we're going to use this machine to weld underwater. Underwater here at Ocean Corporation. So I'm here with Richard, one of the instructors here at Ocean Corporation, and there's a common myth about not being able to weld underwater or getting electrocuted by welding underwater. Right. It's a lot of People are scared about it. So what? what's yeah. some of the reasons so why only, you don't get electrocuted? Right, so we only use DC current 
Uh, we do electrode negative, and so what we teach here is pig. Positive is ground, so we run our ground. Here we're welding on a, a table, so we just run our ground with a C-clamp, put on the table, so our test pieces, they can just set them on the table, move around. Um, rubber gloves, uh, we use a stinger, which is basically a rod holder, rubber coated, um, helps keep people from getting shocked. And then we just tell the diver, keep your leads in front of you, try not to get in between, don't mm -hmm. lay all over the table. Um, and if you get shocked, it's not like anything. Okay, it's like a it, little. It'll, it'll zap, zap you, Okay, but it's not anything crazy bad. So really you just gotta be well insulated. And, yeah, and so, don't put yourself uh, between the ground. so if you got rubber gloves, we've had guys you know, jeans and a shirt, rubber gloves, and mm -hmm. I've done it overalls, just rubber gloves kind of thing. As long as you keep your leads in front of you, and uh, we're only running 120 to about 140 amps, so we're not doing anything real crazy. We're gonna have to run the ground on positive, right. and then our welding's all gonna be for minus. Correct, so our lead is gonna run from the machine, from the negative, up to a knife switch, mm -hmm. and then our stinger is gonna go from the other side, and so when the diver's ready, they'll say make it hot, close the switch, complete the circuit. When they want to change out a rod or clean it up, whatever, make it cold. And the guy running the radio will turn it off. Now with underwater welding, you can just use conventional CC machines. This is positive and this is what? That'd be your ground. Our ground. And your negative is gonna run to your nice switch that goes to your Negative is your stinger rod holder. Okay, so it's straight polarity. plan was to wear jeans and normal clothes, but we decided to get in these wetsuits. This is a large. I'm feeling in charge. See that? New boot goofing. Yeah. What about you? Let me see this. You got an XL. Right. You look good. The rod's already going to be scraped off on the ends that are coated in wax. And usually I tell you when to start about a quarter inch and you can push and twist. And once it arcs, kind of lean a little bit, push it back and just push push, push, and just push into it. Or push and drag. And you wanna go about a third of the speed normal. So you just feel the rod kind of melt. So the, the trick is getting, hitting this piece and this piece. So it's that angle that you wanna hit right in the middle, nice and slow. Rod holder, righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. So counterclockwise, pull it out, just take it, stick it in there, sit, seat it down, cinch it up. There's no trigger to pull, anything like that, but make it hot and you're ready to go. Got all that? Uh, sure. And so it gives you air when you want to breathe. If uh, your lens starts to fog up or you get a little panicky and you want more air, all you do is take this knob and turn it on. And turn it off. You still have air, it just gives you air when you want to breathe. When you're ready to weld, flip it down, on stop. takeaways from underwater welding are the following. You can't see what you're doing down there. There is no arc. So you can't look at the arc and determine where you are with the joint. So Laura, Corey, behind the camera, said you just gotta place it in the joint, let it roll. 
and check out the yeast right here. You can see there's a weld, but I totally missed it. Now look at this one. This one's horrible too. Yeah, missed. Boy is human. I didn't weld that. Missed. Missed. Not good. Not good at all. So I need some practice. Lane, have you ever seen or read that book, The Dark Stories? No. You remind me of the girl in there that tapes her neck from falling off. Oh, yeah, that, that, she's got the green ribbon. Yeah, yeah. the green ribbon. Yeah. Oh, man. You, how do you guys feel? Good? You can breathe. Excited, nervous? It's good. Oh. One of your friends wants you to repeat what your weld looks like. My weld looks like hot garbage. He has the live feed of the uh, GoPro. It's on top of Ann's diving gear. So we'll see first person what's going on down in the tank. We have the crew helping us today here at Ocean Corporation. Oh no, we lost the leg to the GoPro. <laughs> they lost it? Oh yeah, they did lose it. Yeah. We got a floater. We got a floater. <laughs> so, all, so all of you guys are from school? Yes. You guys are all in the class? So what's your plans after class again? I remember you guys told me. Offshore. Offshore. I work for a company. We're going to Panama after school. Panama. You hear that? That's awesome. So this is Ann. Look at that. She's welded once or twice. You want the GoPro still on? Missed the joint on that, but it looks good. And I'll flip this over. Look at this. Look at this guy. If she would have done that all the way across, it would have been passable, you think? Yeah. I don't know if I can get your face in there. Yeah, I got it going. All right, Sander. He's going. I like the initiative, Corey. You're you're putting on your own belt. Hey, you nervous? You got this. Oh, he is. I can sense it. Only human, man. I know. I can sense it. Sea Beach. Hey, tell him up. Corey, is the saying true, save the best for last? Richard, is the saying true, save the best for last? I don't know. Uh, it's looking pretty good there, but then he kind of took uh, it off road. I think we all failed. <laughs> so, we uh, all failed. Yeah. Are that we... one, I can look and he's got that dip. Yeah, I can so, see it. This one is, this one's a possible. We'll get this one cleaned up and take a look. Here's Corey's. Out of all the coupons, guess who did the best? I know who did the best. Ann. Yep. Ann did the best. Yep. I'm turn this baby Ann. around too. Dang. Dang. Confidence D booster. Just changed my clothes. Where, where's the machine coming from? So we're sitting here at obviously Ocean Corporation. And you can see right there, Coastal just pulled in with a 
brand new Peronius TPSI. Yep.